Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna create this pixel style shader, mimic the old school PlayStation 1 graphics. If you watched my previous video, you already know that my channel is demonetized, so I've decided to switch to Patreon. Becoming a Patreon member, you'll support me and this channel to keep evolving, to keep creating more and more interesting videos. Besides that, you have access to all the files that I've created from the start of my YouTube channel. So right now you can download the water shader, you can download the auto material from my previous video. If you didn't watch it, go and watch it. And you can have access to more in-depth videos about how the things work, like the auto material, the water shader, and a few more videos. And also you will have access to a VIP Discord server only dedicated to my Patreon members, where I am active most of the time. So if you want to support the growth of this channel, and if you want to see more and more videos like this, go to my Patreon page, enroll now, and also you will have access to everything that I'm creating. Thanks everyone. So let's start from scratch. I'm gonna create a new level. I'm gonna create a basic new level. And right now, if I play the game, everything looks crispy, not pixelated. The next step is to create a material. Right click, go to materials, and click on the material. Let's call this master material, pixel graphics. I'm gonna double click on it. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to select your pixel graphic material and convert it from the material domain to post process. We're going to use the post process in order to pixelate our game. The first step is we need two parameters to define the resolution. So I'm holding one on my keyboard to create this value. I'm going to right click, convert to parameter, and I'm going to name this pixel height. This will determine the height of our resolution and I'm going to group it under resolution. I'm going to give a default value of 256 and I'm going to duplicate this one, move it all the way down and name it pixel width. I'm going to keep the default value as 256 and the group as resolution. Then what we need to do is we need to append those two. I'm going to right click and search for append and we're going to use append vector. I'm going to connect the height and the width. After we define the pixel height and width, we need to floor it down. Flooring them down, we round them down to the previous integer and output the result. So let's right click, search for floor and connect the floor over here. Then what we need is our screen position. So I'm gonna right click screen position and from our screen position, we're gonna multiply and we're gonna get the floor result into the B and the viewport UI into the A. Now what we need to do is again to floor. So I'm gonna copy and place the floor because we need to round them down again to the previous integer. And then both of them, we're gonna divide, divide. I'm gonna connect the floor over here to B and I'm gonna connect the first floor to A. Then before we finish up the post-process material, we need a scene texture. So I'm gonna right click scene texture and we're gonna connect the divide UVs to the UVs of the scene texture and our cover to the emissive cover over here. And right now we're gonna have an error over here. And this is because you need to select your scene texture. And here under the scene texture ID, we need to choose the post process input zero. After that, our material is ready. I'm gonna save it. And when our material is ready, I'm gonna right click and create material instance. So I'm gonna create MI pixel graphics. When I double click on my material instance, you can see a pixel height resolution and a pixel width resolution. So I'm gonna override them, save them. And now what's left for us is to add a post process. So I'm gonna search for post process. I'm gonna add it over here. The first thing is we need to add the material to our post process. So I'm gonna select my post process and here in the search, I'm gonna search for material. And here under material, I'm gonna hit the plus. I'm gonna click on choose asset reference and I'm gonna plug my material instance over here, all right? But right now nothing is happening, okay? The second thing is we need to search for infinite bound, infinite, and here from infinite extent unbound, I'm gonna check the true. And next I'm gonna add a little bit of film grain and I'm gonna put 1.5. Now, if I play my level, I can see I have a pixelated character and we have this PlayStation 1 vibe graphics. This is very easy way to convert your complete graphic to the pixelated style. If you want to download the material for free, go into the description below and click on the link and download it for free. And before I end up this video, I want to let you know that I've created a Blueprints Masterclass for Unreal Engine 5. It is available right now on Udemy. 
So if you want to expand your knowledge and not just only create art pieces in Unreal Engine 5, but create some characters, create some game logic, my course is the perfect solution from beginners to intermediate Unreal Engine 5 users. The course itself is 15 hours long and it has all the foundation that you need to kickstart your blueprint knowledge in Unreal Engine 5. So if you want to keep evolving yourself beyond just creating art in Unreal Engine 5, enroll now. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to support me and get access to all my files, also to the auto material that I've created previously, join my Patreon page for $4.99 and with your pledge you are supporting me to keep creating amazing videos like this. Each one of you can make a big difference by supporting my channel so I can keep making those videos. Thank you guys for watching this video, happy game development, I'm out.